Hello everyone, Merry Christmas and almost Happy New Year, uh, day before New Year's and I thought I'd just do a quick uh, heads up, give you a heads up on the, the Lake Simcoe Slam Pack that many of you have already purchased. Um, so some guys have been asking me how would you rig the Slam Pack and great question. Um, first, why did, uh, why did we put together the Slam Pack? One, um, as you may know and if you've never fished Lake Simcoe, ice fish like Simcoe in particular, you'll know that if you're targeting whitefish, uh, they've really turned their feed bag to goby. And so now guys don't need to go into deep water, especially now we don't really have ice out there right now. Um, so you can target uh, shallower waters, 19 feet I've caught, lots of whiteies in, 20, 22 feet sort of thing. Um, and what was the key bait? Gobies. And um, in particular, anything that resembles a goby in terms of shape or color and more importantly um, where it resides in the water column and as you know gobies are bottom feeders primarily and so we're going to keep that bait on the bottom now back to this uh, the lake simcoe slam pack it's basically comprised of three of our baits um, it's available right now uh, for 1995 uh, 1999 and um, it's comprised of three baits and i can quick show you that right here so you've got the mini grubby, and this is in the copperback color. You've got the mini goby, again, in the copperback. And you've got the baby goby in the Lake Simcoe dark color pattern. And so what's really cool about these baits is they've got that copper sheen to them when you move them. You've got copper, black, gold fleck. Um, and the, the, the base color is a copper brown, which if you've ever caught a goby, um, from Lake Simcoe or most areas actually there they often have that uh, that bronzy or that coppery tinge to them or brown tinge to them and uh, And this is the Lake Simcoe. We've made this color specific for Lake Simcoe um, It's the baby goby and you'll see on the bottom of it. It's got a slightly uh, lighter color than the top and This is a great this will be a, a fantastic bait for Lake Simcoe whitefish and I'm sure you'll get Lakers and other fish with all of these, these baits. Now back to how would I rig this bait up? So you've, you may have seen a video in the past where I've, I've shown this, um, this tandem rig here where I've got bait on the bottom uh, with about a foot and a half of fluorocarbon. And then um, I just use a barrel swivel and tie two lines right off of one of the eyes. Uh, with a stiffer line, usually around the 10 to 15 pound range, so it sticks out a little better uh, than if you were using a lighter line, and uh, a small hook. So the way I would recommend uh, fishing with this particular Lake Simcoe Slam Pack is first I'd take a net head, and i definitely connect that. I do use quick snaps, um, and uh, there's actually a reason for it. I find that it, it, it gives the bait a little more ability to, to move more freely than tying direct to the eye of the jig head. Um, but anyway, so the way I would hook that is, you know, like, like all of our baits, we want to measure up where that, we want that to come out. It's just going to come out just before the second fin on the back. And we're going to try to get that right through the center and just jam that down until you find that pretty spot. And through. And that's that, that's the, the, the way I hooked up the baby goby. So on a net, right, when we hit the bottom, it's really going to, to just bounce off the bottom like this. And there is a little bit of buoyancy to this bait, so you're going to get a little bit of lift as well, which is really important um, and makes it easier for uh, fish to inhale this bait. Um, so, and, and you've heard in my, in my past sort of tutorials that the idea is that we want to jig that bait off the bottom. We can hover a little bit, pause off the bottom, stir up a little bit of the bottom. If you're on mud or clay, get that, that bottom stirred up. And quite often that's what will entice the strike is just working the bottom just like a real goby. Now, on your top hook, this is a great opportunity for you to put either 
the mini grubby or the mini goby. In this case, I'm going to just take the, uh, the mini grubby. And again, you can feed this through two different ways. One, you can feed it through like you just did with the with the baby goby, right through the head and through its back, no problem. Or I prefer just to hook it under the chin and through the head. So your setup looks something like this. So this bait's going to be again slightly buoyant. It should be moving something like this. When you're hitting it off the bottom, you've got a family of colors. So they're both bronzy in color. One working the bottom, one working a little higher up. And again, you can certainly interchange this with this guy here. Or if you have, and you're going to see in my my kit of, of uh, nets, you're going to see these are more suited for a bigger bait. There are smaller Ned jigs that would come, the bend would start a little shallower. So you could, with this, even the mini Gobi, you could hook that through and bounce that off the bottom as well. Keep in mind, you're going to need a narrow hook, a thin hook, um, in order for this bait to last. Otherwise, you'll just blast through it and rip it apart before it's even in the water. So that would be my recommendation. Um, like I said, there's, it's, we still have the slam pack on sale even after the sale's over. It's obviously going to be available. It's been very popular. Um, we use these baits in various lakes across Ontario. They've been very successful for virtually every species of fish. Um, give it a go. Uh, you can visit our website, www.grumpybaits.com to learn a little more or order. Um, or check out your local retailer and um, and really wishing you safe travels uh, once the ice uh, forms nicely on Lake Simcoe and uh, wishing you a happy new year. So Marty D signing off here. Thanks again for your support guys. Um, please feel free to subscribe to my YouTube channel. I'll be adding more and more videos as the season goes on. Take care. Thanks again.